Let's love. 
Good morning, everyone. We welcome you to our service this morning. On behalf of the senior pastor of the Tabaki Open Bible Church, Reverend Gerald Peters, we welcome you to our service this morning. And today, before we go into the word of the Lord, we would like to pray at this time. So, Father and God, we give you praise. I give you thanks. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor this morning, dear God. You deserve it today. For you are Lord and you are God. You are the great I am. You are the one that created us, dear Father, Lord God. And you are alive and you live forevermore, dear Father, Lord God. And so, God, we are here to exalt your name today. We are here to worship you. We are here to magnify you, dear Father, Lord God, as Lord and God of the earth. Hallelujah. And so, God, we thank you. We thank you for life. We thank you for the privilege that we have, O oh Lord God, to call upon your name this morning. And so, God, I pray that as we call upon your name and as that we pray and as we worship you, dear Father, Lord God, and as we go into your word this morning, dear Father, Lord God, that my God, your word, O oh God, will touch the heart of someone today. And God, that lives will be changed, dear Father, Lord, and some soul will be saved, dear Father, Lord God. So we thank you. We give you all the glory and give you all the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are reading from, our scripture is going to be taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 31. Reading from verses 1 to 5. Hallelujah. And this is a psalm by the psalmist David. And it says, I run to you, God. I run for their life. Don't let me down. Take me seriously this time. Get down on my level and listen. And please, no procrastination. Your granite cave, a hiding place. Your high cliff, airy, of a place of safety. You are my cave to hide in, my cliff to climb. Be my safe leader. Be my true mountain guide. Free me from hidden traps. I want to hide in you. I've put my life in your hands. You won't drop me. You will never let me down. This morning, for a short while, I just want to share on the topic, who do you run to? Who do you run to? Here is David, a man in great distress and calamity. Things are happening all around him, and he appeals to God for help to save his soul. He is running to God for rescue. In this day and in this time that we are living in, there's a lot of calamities around us. There are a lot of things that are happening. There are a lot of people in distress. There are a lot of people in pain. There are a lot of people who are frustrated. They do not know what is going to be happen tomorrow. They are not sure if they are going to survive today. But here is a man that is in great distress. And he recognizes that the only person that can assist him and the only person that he can run to and be sure that when he runs to that person that he's going to get help and he's going to get an answer is the Lord Jesus Christ. So here is David. He's saying, Lord, I'm in distress. Lord, I am in problems. He says, but I run to you, God. I run for their life. It's a desperate situation. And he recognizes that the only person who can help him at this point in time in his life is to call upon the name of the Lord God. So he says, here, yeah, oh God, I, I run to you. I run for their life. I know that you are God. And I know that you will not let me down this time. Hallelujah. And so I, I, I give you the assurance and the hope that if you run to God, He is going to hear you. He is going to answer you. He is going to hold your hands. And He is going to walk with you and lead you out of the situation that you are in. Hallelujah. That is the God that we serve. That is the God that created the heavens and the earth. That is the one, hallelujah, who gave life. Hallelujah. And He breathed His breath into man and man became a living soul and we have that honor and we have that privilege today of calling upon the name of the Lord of running to him who are you running to today who are you running to today 
What is the situation that you are in today? What calamity are you having in your life, in your home, in the life of your family? What is the situation today? What hardships are you going through? What difficulties are you going through? And you are saying, I cannot see the end of it. I cannot see the end of the tunnel. Oh, I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you feel like everything is caving in around you. And you feel like everything is overpowering you. And the negative things is overshadowing you. Hallelujah. But I tell you that there's a God, there's a Bam in Gilead that you can call upon and he is going to hear you and he is going to answer you. If you run to him, he is going to save you. He is going to shelter you in his arms today. There are a lot of people who was in distress and they ran to Jesus. And I give you the assurance that everybody who ran to Jesus, they came out with an excellent report. Then nobody runs to Jesus and never gets an answer. Nobody runs to Jesus and never and comes out disappointed. Every time we run to Jesus and we call upon his name, he hears and he answers us. He is faithful and he is just. Hallelujah. That's the God that we serve. A mighty God, hallelujah, who can do all things today. One such person that ran to Jesus, according to Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 and 13, is a centurion. He had a sick person in his house. And he came to Jesus. And he says, all you have to do is speak the word. And I know that my servant will be healed. He found out that the person to run to in the time of distress, and in the time of problems, and in the time of trials, was Jesus Christ. And he went to him. And Jesus said, your servant is made whole. The woman with the issue of blood, taken from Luke chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. This woman had an issue of blood for 12 years. She went to all the doctors that she cut off in that point in time. She spent all her money. She didn't have any money. She was broken. She was just going down worse and worse. And probably she was thinking that I will die. The day is coming that I'm going to die. And one day she heard about the man Jesus Christ. And she decided to run to him. And she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I know that I would be made whole. Hallelujah. And she decided to go. She decided to run to Jesus. And in the midst of running to Jesus, she had to crawl through the crowd. She had to go through the people. She had to push through. She had to fight her way through. Running to Jesus would not be easy. There will be some obstacles in your way, but you have to overcome the obstacles. And when you overcome the up as you go and you overcome the obstacles, you're going to get closer to him and you're going to get closer to him. And this is what she was experiencing as she went and she pushed through the crowd and she crawled through. Hallelujah. She was getting closer to him because she had a goal to run and touch him. And she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I know that I will be made whole. And she ran, hallelujah, to Jesus. And the Bible says when she reached him, she touched the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. And if the Bible says immediately she was made whole hallelujah immediately her situation changed immediately hallelujah there was a turning around immediately hallelujah there was a there was a, a change in her life immediately hallelujah my God hallelujah her bleeding stopped immediately that's the account of the Bible hallelujah and Jesus felt it he said somebody touch me hallelujah because it was no ordinary touch today it was a touch from a person that was desperate and in distress hallelujah and when we are in distress and when we are desperate and we cry out to him he is going to hear you and that is exactly what he did with this woman with the issue of blood she ran to him and she was healed who are you running to today man is going to fail the world is going to fail governments will fail promises are going to be made and be broken but the Bible says that Jesus, hallelujah, he made promises to us and his promises are yea and amen until the very end. He says, I promise that I will never leave you nor forsake you, that I'm going to be with you until the very end. That's the promise that he has made. Who are you running to today? I urge you, run to Jesus Christ. Run to him. Run to him. Don't wait until it is too late. Don't wait until time has gone 
Don't wait until there is no more time on the earth to call upon his name. For there is a time that is coming when we will not be able to call upon the name of the Lord. But the Bible says call upon the name of the Lord now while he may be found. Don't wait until it's too late. David was in a desperate situation. So he said, I run to you, God. I run for their life. His life was at stake. The life of his soul was at stake this morning. And so he decided and he realized that the only person that can help me is the Lord God Almighty this morning. The strong tower. The one that created the heavens and the earth. David realized, nowhere else can I run for shelter. I can run nowhere else for shelter. He says that, uh, he, when, when he ran to God, he says, Oh God, bow down thine ear to me, O God. Hear me, O God. He's asking God, bow down your ear to me. Hear me this morning. Such was the cry, the desperate cry of the man. That he says, Oh God, bow down your ear to me. Not only David, did David do these things, but David had full confidence in God. That's why he ran to him. Hallelujah. That's why he ran to him. That's why he ran to him. I want to assure you this morning, hallelujah, that once you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he is going to hear you. He is going to answer you this morning. He's a God, hallelujah, that is not going to leave you nor forsake you today. Have confidence in Him. Have confidence in, the, in God. Have confidence in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And those of you that are not saved and do not know Him as your Lord and Savior, you have an opportunity to accept Him as your Lord and Savior and uh, let Him come into your life and let Him come and live in you and change you and turn around the situation. He can turn things around. Hallelujah. He can turn things around. So David had full confidence in God. David said, God, pull me out of the net that I've been, hallelujah, laid up for me. Pull me out, God. David is asking God to pull him out. Take me out. Take me out of the calamity. Take me out of the distress. Take me out of the situation. Take me out of the valley this morning. Hallelujah. Take me out of, of, of the problems, dear Father, Lord God. Some of you may be going through some difficult times, but there's a God that you can call upon, as I said. Hallelujah. And He is going to answer you. David is saying, Oh God, get down on my level and listen. He says, You are my cave to hide in. There is safety in God. He says, You are my true leader this morning you are a safe leader when you allow God to lead you he's going to lead you into the paths of righteousness when you submit your life to Jesus Christ he is going to lead you hallelujah into great things this morning he's going to open doors for you he's going to turn the situation around he's a great leader he said be my true mountain guide I want to hide in you hallelujah the enemies of David were very cunning and mighty. But David had confidence in the God that he served. That when I call upon him, he's going to hear me and he's going to answer me. Hallelujah. He says, into thy hand, dear Father, Lord God. <laughs> into thine hand, I commit my spirit. I commit my life. Such was the confidence that David had in God that he says, I put my life in your hands and I know that you will not disappoint me. I know that you will not leave me. I know that you will give me life. When I put my life into your hands, I am safe. I am in the ark of safety. When I put my life into your hands. And so this morning, I encourage you, run to God. Run to God. Don't run away from Him. Don't run away from His word. Don't run away from His instructions. But run to Him. Hallelujah. Set your eyes 
forward and look to him today and run to him and don't just only run but say God I run to you I run for dear life save me oh God save me today take away the distress turn things around dear father Jesus let there be a turning around and he is going to hear you and he is going to answer you today so David, hallelujah, he found, hallelujah, that in, in the times of peril, I can run to him. And there are countless reports in the Bible of people running to Jesus Christ. They ran to him and they were not disappointed. And so today I encourage you, run to Jesus. Run to him. Run to him. David said in verse 14, he says, desperate I throw myself on you. You are my God. He says, desperate, I throw myself on you. You are my God. He acknowledges that God is a Savior today. He says, hour by hour, I place my days in your hand. Every hour, I place my life in your hands. Every minute of the day, I place my life in your hands. Every second of the day, I place my life in your hands. I run to you, Jesus Christ. Every minute, I lay my life in your hands. He says, desperate, I throw myself on you. You are my God. Hour by hour, I place my days in your hands. Safe. From the hands out to get me. He says, warm me your servant with a smile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's God. That's God. That's God this morning. Run to him. I encourage you, run to Jesus Christ. Now is the time. In the midst of everything that is happening around us. In the midst of everything that is happening in the world. Hallelujah. All the situations that are happening in the world. In the midst of all the death. Hallelujah. In the midst of all the, the, the problems. Hallelujah. That are popping up here, there and everywhere. And people are losing finances. And people are losing their jobs. And people are losing homes. Hallelujah. Some people are being put out. And there's no, the, the, the situation seems to be overwhelming. But I guarantee you. And I challenge you. And I give you the assurance that if you run to Jesus Christ he's going to hear you and he's going to answer you he's going to be your strength he's going to be your hope hallelujah he's going to be your joy this morning he's going to be your king he's willing to be your king he's willing to be your leader he's willing to be your savior that's why he came and he died on the cross and he shed his blood and he went down into the tomb hallelujah but he did not stay in the tomb the bible says on the third day he rose again and he rose triumphantly and he lives and he lives forevermore hallelujah he's god on the throne and he's still on the throne today hallelujah and if you run to him and if you call upon him he's going to hear you and he will answer you today in the midst of your desperate situation, there's a way out. Suicide is not the answer. Taking your own life will not solve the problem. But if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will fix the situation. He's a fixer today. Hallelujah. And we are confident that anything we ask in His name, He is faithful and He's just going to answer today I urge you run to Jesus run to Jesus run to Jesus when you run to Jesus he's going to hear you do like David David recognized that the only hope that I have the only hope that he had in that time in the situation that he was in the only hope he had was to run to the Lord God. And that is exactly what David did. He said, I run to him. He says, love God, all you saints. God takes care of all who stay close to him. Love God. When you run to him, love him. 
So today, I urge you, run to Jesus Christ. Who are you running to? Stop running to the left and stop running to the right. But set your affections on things above. Set your eyes on Jesus Christ. He said, in my distress, I, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me. So not only is God going to hear you when you cry, but he's also going to deliver you. He healed the woman with the issue of blood. He raised Jairus' daughter from the dead. Hallelujah. These are people that, that went seeking him out. If you seek him, you're going to find him. And when you find him, he's going to answer you. And he's going to take you out of the distress. And he's going to take you out of the calamities. And he's going to turn things around. Hallelujah. He's going to turn things around. If you run to him. There's a song that says, I will run to you. Oh God, I will run to you. I will run to you. I encourage you today. I encourage you this morning. People, those that are saved, those that are not saved, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is a good day to run to Him. Today is a good day to seek Him out. And He's going to hear you. And He's going to answer you. And He is going to bless you. And He's going to turn things around. So today, bless the Lord. And then you will say, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me, I will bless his holy name. I run to you, God. I run to you and I run for dear life. It's a desperate situation. It's a desperate time. Hallelujah. Run to him. Run to him. Run to him. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. And he will answer you. And he will save you today. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father in God, we thank you for your word. Thank you for everything that has been said and done. My God, I thank you for those, oh God, that have heard your word. And they are in a desperate situation. And my God, they are facing a mountain. And my God, some of them feel that they are down in the valley. And there is no coming out. They can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Their Father, Lord God. My God, they are feeling overwhelmed. Their Father, Lord God. But I pray this morning, oh God, hallelujah, that your Holy Spirit, dear Father, Lord, will reach down and touch them, dear Father, Lord. And as your word, oh God, they will understand that if they run to you like David in a desperate time and have confidence in you, dear Father, that you are going to save them. You are going to turn things around. You are going to, oh God heal. You will not only heal but you will deliver today dear Father Lord God such is your power this morning. Your name that is above every other name dear Father Lord God. So God I thank you today. I pray oh God that you will bless them. I pray God for those that are not saved dear Father that they will surrender their lives to you. They will accept you as their Lord and Savior. They will make you Lord of their lives dear Father Lord God and they will see a change in their lives. They will see a change in their homes. They'll see a change in their families today, dear Father, Lord God. So God, I bless you this morning. We worship you today, dear Father, Lord God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. And we give you all the honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you this morning. Have a blessed week. Hallelujah. Continue trusting in the Lord God. Continue trusting in your Savior. He will never let you down. Have confidence in Him. Run to Him. Hallelujah. Run to him and he will do the rest. In Jesus' name, amen.